Hello everyone, I am Adviti Reddy from 4th EC. In this video, I am going to give you brief description on the two representation approaches, boundary following and chain quotes. So what is representation? After an image is segmented into regions in segmentation process, each region is represented and described in a form of suitable for further computer processing. Representation deals with the image's characteristics and regional properties. Basically, representing a region involves two choices. We can represent the region in terms of external characteristics, that is the boundary, and the other one is in terms of its internal characteristics, the pixels comprising the region. Sometimes it is necessary to choose both representations. Choosing a representation scheme, however, is only part of task making the data useful for a computer. For example, a region may be represented by its boundary and the boundary described by features such as its length, the orientation of the straight line joining its extreme points and the number of concavities in the boundary. So what, cho what to choose when? External representation is chosen when primary focus is on shape characteristics. Internal representation is chosen when primary focus is on regional properties such as color and texture. Features selected as descriptors should be insensitive to changes in size, translation and rotation. Uh, let us discuss the first uh, representation approach, boundary following. Most of the algorithms require that points in a boundary of a region be ordered in clockwise or counterclockwise direction. We assume we work with binary images with object and background represented as 1 and 0 respectively. Images are padded with borders of zeros to eliminate the possibility of image merging with image border. Let us let the starting point B0 be the uppermost, leftmost point in the image. So this is B0. C0 be the west neighbor of B0. So C0 should be he, over here. Uh, let us see in this image B0 and C0. Examine the eight neighbors of B0 starting at C0 and proceed in clockwise direction. Examine the eight neighbors of B0 in clockwise direction and the b1 denotes the first neighbor encountered with value 1 and c1b background point immediately preceding b1 in the sequence so the first one where, where we get the first one denoted as b1 let us see this in the next slide mm, yeah so let us take b equals to b1 and c equals to c1 let the eight neighbors of B starting at C and proceeding in clockwise directions be denoted by N1, N2 and so on till N8. The first NK labeled 1, find the first NK labeled 1. Let B equals to NK and C equals to NK minus 1. And the process continues. Repeat step 3 and 4 until B equals to B0 and next boundary point found is B1. The sequence of B points found when the algorithm stops constitutes the set of ordered boundary points. This algorithm is also called as Moore's boundary tracking algorithm. So let us see what are chain codes. What chain codes actually are. Chain codes are used to represent a boundary by a connected sequence of straight line segments of specific length and direction. Typically, this representation is based on a 4 or 8 connectivity of segments. The direction of each segment is coded by using a numbering scheme. So, the direction is coded by using a numbering scheme. Here, 0 to 4, 0 to 3 and here, 0 to 7. Uh, digital images are acquired and processed in a grid format. Uh, make note of this. It is 
they are processed in a grid format with equal spacing in x and y directions uh, there are uh, this is an unacceptable acceptable method because resulting chain tends to be too long any small disturbances along the boundary due to noise or imperfect segmentation can cause changes in the code so how to overcome this uh, a solution to this problem is to resample the boundary by selecting a larger grid space select a larger grid space then as the boundary is traversed a boundary point is assigned to each node of the large grid depending upon the proximity of original boundary to that node the resample boundary can now be represented by a 4 or 8 code The chain code of a boundary depends upon starting point. So we can say that the point where you start matters. However, the code can be normalized. We treat the chain code as a circular sequence of direction numbers and redefine starting point so that resulting sequence forms an integer of minimum magnitude. We can also normalize for rotation by the first difference of the chain code instead of code itself. The accuracy of resulting code representation depends on the spacing of the sampling grid. Considering the circular sequence, let us first consider an example. First difference of four direction chain code 1010332. Considering the circular sequence, first element is calculated by subtracting last and first components. Uh, let us see this. 1 to 0. 1 to 0. We will move 3 units in the counterclockwise direction. 1, 2 and 3. So 3 units. And 3 is written over here as you can see. It's from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. 0 to 1. We are moving 1 unit. 1 to 0 again. 1, 2, 3 units. 0 to 3. 1, 2, 3 units. 3 to 3. We, are, we aren't moving anything. So 0 is written over here. 3 to 2 again. In the counterclockwise direction, we move 1, 2, 3 units. 3 to 2 is 3 again. 3 is written over here. Next, 2 to 2. 2 to 2. We aren't moving anything. So 0. And the final answer we got as 3133030. So these are the references I have used. Thank you.